the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good afternoon and welcome to Shulchan Aruch Yobi Table Enables. I'm back. <laughs> Took a couple of days break. Um, Monday and Tuesday was fast, era fast day and Purim. So, and Sunday I was busy. So, <clears throat> I realize, you know, Shulchan Aruch Yomi is not like Mishnah Yomi and Daf Yomi, where there's a cycle. And I got to keep up with the cycle. Even though no one's watching my video, so I really don't have to keep up with the cycle. But technically, I want to keep up with the cycle in case one day people start to wake up from their daydreams and realize reality has been seen like is the best manga share by far in the entire world. Not even close. Like, it's not even, it's not even like a number two, even like within 100 miles of me. That's true. <laughs> I know it to be true. I watch other people's share. Come on. There's no one. There's no one even from a rabbinic perspective who speaks as clearly and concisely and to the point as me. Um, combine that with entertainment value and um, <clears throat> the idea of me being a contemporary, contemporary knowledge, integrated, um, and personal anecdotes. So <clears throat> you're not going to find a magic share quite like me. Um, you could try, you know, plus I give six shiurim on average a day. Um, my, I don't think people give more than one shiur a day, maybe twice a week. Sometimes big rub on them give a shiur. So <clears throat> it's unlike, but the shogun are me like, you know, it's my own cycle. So I've been vigilant to keep it up until this week. This is the first time I broke fat. Now, obviously, if you, you know, get in the, the habit of skipping days, then it's going to fall apart. But <clears throat> I felt justified this week. So, I'll try to do two shirim this week. Reish Ted Zion, 216, 217. Let's start. Reish Ted Zion, Dine We talked about, we finished talking about Birchas on foods. Let's talk about making Birch on smells. Interesting halachas here. It's not really halachas people think about so much, but it really actually should apply a lot more than the common minig used to be. So, Machbin on this. Aleph, Asr Lahanos Mareach Tov, Ashivar Konim Shariah. You're not allowed to benefit from a good smell until you make a Birch before you smell. And if you smelled it already and you want to continue smelling, you have to make a bracha. The Gemara says, there's no bracha krona. Beis, in this year, Yotzim and Menno Hareach eats, Omin eats, Mavarach Boreach, Tevis, what bracha do you make? So, if it's something which is a tree, now just like Ori Priya eats, it has to be something which has a stem and remains from year to year, meaning if it disintegrates in the middle from, during the winter and it regrows, that's called We'll see. That's like Bori Pri Adama, the grass of the summer. This is eight seven summer is like Bori Pri eights. So if it comes from the tree, even if it's not actually not smelling the actual wood, you're smelling the fruit, the thing that comes from the tree. You Bori except it's a fruit. We'll see. You say Bori Atze Besamim. Then you say the wood that has a good scent. And if it's not a, a stem that stays for the entire winter, it disintegrates. So then, bori itzvei besamim, like grass or any type of plant that you know dies during the winter, you say bori itzvei besamim. May no lominates of lominates of kamoha musk, varak bori mina besamim. Musk, uh, if you don't know what that is, musk is the scent that comes from a deer. Deer produce a unique scent. Um, if you don't know, not from most people aren't familiar with scents because they're not familiar with flowers. Not everyone uses cologne. If you're a man, most men don't use cologne. I don't think women use perfume. You're not customized. That's where you're going to get your main smells from. You're going to get them from flowers. You're going to get them from colognes and um, <clears throat> and and perfumes. So musk is also an air freshener. You're in the bathroom. People are familiar with that. One of the smells they have is musk, which is supposed to be similar. Sim, is supposed to be to supposed to be similar to the smell of that comes from the deer, the sweat of a deer. It's musk. They extract that and. That's from an animal, so therefore the correct bracha is like shahakal bari mina b'samim, mavarak bari b'samim. Now, yeah, pre the fourth type of bracha, if it's a roi lachila, if it's a food that you can consume, a pre that comes from a tree, mavarak hanosin reyach tov peiros. Then there's a special bracha to make, hanosin reyach tov peiros. The only time you make a bracha is when you took the fruit, not to eat it, but to smell it. Aval imnatol laachlo. 
you took it both to eat it and to smell it, you, you would make the bracha. But not the lachlo. If you just took it to eat it, even though it really smells a good smell. Ain't no mavarich. Doesn't make a bracha. I don't explain in Eon Ben Zion why it is specifically. Even though you smelled it, you smelled the good smell. Why shouldn't you make the bracha? Why shouldn't you mechuyiv take the bracha? Because I picked it up for achila. It's a very unique halacha. Smell. They say smell um, is the one sense. Uh, you know, usually people are thought it has the five senses. You know, uh, it's the one uh, the scent of smell. The sense of smell is um, the only sense that wasn't affected by yitzhara. That's what the kabbalistic svarim say. It's something which you can fully enjoy in this world. If you happen to have said Barim Yisam, even though the correct bracha was no sin reyato of Eros or Atzei B'Sam or Isfei B'Sam, you're Yosef. Just like Shahak, Kol Dabashim was Sivak Ba'am of Arach Barim Yisam. Therefore, you're not sure what the bracha to make. I'm going to talk, I'll just throw it out here. If it's chemicals, right? A lot of fragrances are chemicals. A lot of perfumes, a lot of colognes. They might have herbs and scents which are natural. But they also have chemicals. You know, the more expensive ones have more natural stuff. Like vanilla is a very ex- expensive uh, scent. It smells really good. Um, there's different, you know, peach smell or things like that. So there's a lot of different scents that goes into making a perfume or a cologne. I I personally believe in it if it's completely chemicals. You know it's completely chemicals. If it smells good to you and you, not just you put it on your body. You put it on, you know, you, you put cologne on. You have to actually... After you put it on your body, you smell it. You want to smell it, right? That's considered kavono lahariyako. That's considered intent lahariyako. If you just put it on your body, so your body smells good, and naturally you smell it. That's like picking up a fruit to eat it, and you also smell it. You wouldn't make a bracha next, but I believe chemicals also. You say bori, just like you make on the sweat of a deer. It doesn't have to be a natural. Why does it have to be a natural smell? Even if a chemically-based smell, I think you should make. If it smells good, objectively, it smells good. How would you define objectively it smells good if it's something which is sold for its smell, right? If you're buying some, you know, bleach or something like that and you like the smell of the bleach, it's not it's not meant for the smell. So therefore, you wouldn't make a bracha. Al ego's muscata. Um, the alkalina canila of kalava. All these words that we wish we had an understanding. Muscata, according to the art scroll, to, to, not the art scroll, the shaburu is a, is a fruit. The alkanila apparently is some type of cinnamon. The kaluva nagalach. Um, they say this is siporin, which is basically, you know, basamim that you use for havdalah. Cloves, you know, that's basically. The kol basamim. Shehem lachilam varach anosin reyakotov eperos. If they all come from a fruit, you make anosin reyakotov eperos. Now, the reason that you make barmi basamim at havdalah. Even though technically cloves come from a fruit, apparently cloves from a plant. I don't know about that. Is because that is a standard bracha by Havdalah to bear Barim Yisamim. So whatever you take to use at Havdalah, if it's in the middle of Havdalah, you would make Barim Yisamim. You don't make the correct bracha. Gimel ala vered valkinamu on a rose. <coughs> if you didn't know that flowers actually have scents to them. You buy flowers for your wife. You think she likes how they look. They also smell nice. You can actually smell flowers. A lot of them smell very good. So on a rose, val kinomon. I don't know why he's talking about kinomon over here. We talk about cinnamon. Shu'ur Hindi. I guess it's a different way of talking about something else. It's a flower from Hindi. Hindi is India. Val may vered val alvona. Let's say you have, even if it's a liquid that's composed of, like we talk about, you have a perfume they put in, Rose petals in there, you know, they distill it in there about Livona. Now, <clears throat> Livona is frankincense. Now, I always wonder well, exactly what frankincense is, you know. They put Livona on top of the, on top of the Lechma upon him. So, <clears throat> what exactly is Livona? It sounds like love one to me, like white, like vanilla. You know, the most prominent smell in the world is vanilla. Vanilla is the most expensive. It's expensive to buy real vanilla. You know, you buy even in the store vanilla extract can cost a lot of money. It's a tiny, tiny bit of real vanilla in it. Most, you know, vanilla is just artificial stuff. But the real vanilla, it's really expensive stuff. Um, can these come from plants? Vanilla is a plant. I don't exactly know what mitzvahi is. According to the Mishaburu, min eitz is rachel and osen reyachtov. It's a type of branch that tastes that has a very good smell. 
again, these all come from plants which do not disintegrate during the winter. It's the correct bracha is Atzei Vesomim Dalit Al Shemen Ar Farsimon Mevarech Shemen Mevarech Borei Shemen Ari. This is actually a fifth bracha, specifically for Shemen Ar Farsimon. Now, what is Shemen Ar Farsimon? No one knows exactly what this is. Ar Farsimon sounds like persimmon. Right? That's how I would translate in English persimmon, the oil that comes persimmon, <coughs> which is a fruit. Mevarech Borei Shemen Ari. However, it's unique Shemen. I don't know. I would like to say. Uh, for someone is uh, aloe vera oil that's maybe you know the best oil you're gonna find you know so <laughs> aloe vera oil um perhaps is the bracha or shaman ariv but i'm not sure about this so if you have aloe vera oil and you're and you're taking it you're putting yourself to smell right not because you want your skin to be soft so then the correct bracha only in that instance you make a bracha of probably boring in the summer because i'm not sure hey hey shaman zayas Olive oil, shakasha otakana, shakasha reicho nodif. If you have um, oil which comes from olives, olive oil, and you ground it up, right? And now it smells very good. It actually smell good. It has to smell good. And probably olive oil does not generally smell good unless you have extra virgin olive oil. It's really crushed up very much. Um, then you want to make some ate besamen because. Olives grow on a tree. Vav, shemen shebismo k'mo shemen hamishcha. Im ba'atzei b'samen. Let's say you actually, this is talking about when they make perfumes, they make colognes. They they take <clears throat> oils and they take, um, you know, different fragrances and, you know, they, they they burn them. I don't know exactly how they make fragrances. They distill them, they burn them, um, they mix them in, they heat it up together so it gets to the front of the fragrance. So therefore, yes, you have a liquid, and you have some some fragrance which comes from atze basam or isve basam. So therefore, like just like by soup, right? If you cook vegetables in water, and then you take out the vegetables, you make on the soup bori pri adamo. So here also, you make bori atze basam. Maybe isve basam. If there's grass, but varuch isve basam. Vim hayubo. It depends what the main smell is, right? What the smell? Vim hayu tam keika, right? It has to be recognizable by food. It's one sixtieth. By smell, you just have to be able to smell it. Let's say it has both basam like like musk, right, from a deer, and it has from trees. The correct bracha is because that's the more general bracha. Let's say you filtered it and you took out the something. Now, <clears throat> apparently, um, I didn't read this line. <laughs> I, mean, I read this line before, but I didn't realize what he was saying. So, uh, in the first half of the, of, the, of this halach, uh, it's talking about where he kept the fragrance in there. He kept the rose, or he kept the vanilla in there. So the vanilla is in there. So then the correct bracha is it's fed to some, it's fed to some, whatever is in there. Um, and if you have some musk in there, so the correct bracha is but in sitting of a hotzi man of a summer, which I was saying, Tom Kicker, he actually took it out and it just smells like it. So some say you make Shem and Ariv. This is the opinion of the tour. Uh, and some say you don't make a bracha on it at all. We came into Suffolk, who not only is Armin Suffolk, you shouldn't smell it at all. Um, I don't know. To me, I would say it's like Tom Kicker. If you could smell it, even if you took it out, it would be Tom Kicker like a soup, and you should make a bracha. That's my personal opinion, but again, I'm not a rabbi. you got to ask your local Orthodox rabbi. Zion, Simlak v'chilfi diyam varak bori atzei b'samim. What are these things? On all these, on both of these things, you make atzei b'samim. Simlak yesh mefarshim rosemary. This is actually very common. I just farm use rosemary. Rosemary is a type of, you know, um, it's a type of, a piece of wood that has some leaves on it, rosemary. But some people put it to cook. Sounds like nine leaves, three leaves, like a hadas. I don't know. The Gemara says actually is a type of hadas. It's a type of hadas. There's hadas shota that grows three leaves in each. Uh, in a circle or right next to each other, and three leaves had a shota. I think the word calls it chilfi diyama. But <clears throat> um, so basically, these are a type of 
flowers or a type of rosemary. So the correct bracha is uh, right. So the correct bracha on these two things, jasmine and rosemary, is atzei b'salam because they have a woody stem. Chet sigli heim vilush bori itzvei b'salam sigli. Okay, let's look. Heim mida dudaim aniskar ba mikra. So I don't know dudaim. I thought were jasmine. I thought that's why our school translated jasmine. We just talked about jasmine. So I don't know. Maybe there's tulips or something like that. Bori itzvei b'salam. All the flowers. You know, are probably its favorite summon. If you take a flower and you smell it, whether you smell a tulip, whether you smell a dahlia, whether you smell uh, a carnation, whether you smell, you know, there's so many flowers, a rose, whether you smell a cow lily, you know, all the good flowers out there, peony, peony, whatever you pronounce it. So the correct bracha, if you don't know about flowers, it's very sad because you got to know about flowers. If you're a man, a real man, Two things make a real man. If you know your flowers and you know your spirits. If you know spirits and you know flowers, you know how to mix drinks, and you know how to arrange flowers and pick out nice flowers and arrange nice flowers, you're a cut above everybody, every other man. And you'll know how to, being a man is being able to win over a woman. You know those two things? There's no man that can compete with you. <laughs> um... Sigli behem vilish bori yitzvei b'salam. Again, it's probably a type of flower. Ted, nargis hu chavatzelet. Chavatzelet is another way of saying a rose. There's different roses. There's red roses. There's white roses. Pink roses. Chavatzelet has sharon. It says in Shara Shira. Meyesh omrim shu liriu. Im gadol begina. So this is interesting. Allah. If it grows in the garden, mavarech bori yitzvei b'salam. If it's a rose that grows in the garden, you make yitzvei b'salam. Gadol besada, mavarech bori yitzvei b'salam. The reason there's a difference between where it's grown, if it's grown in, the, in your personal garden, and if grown in the in the wild, if it grows in your garden, you you water it. So therefore, even during the winter, it won't disintegrate. However, if it grows in the wild, it'll disintegrate during the winter, and therefore, the correct bracha it's favorable. You are you the fun of at favorable, it's favorable, mini favorable. You have all three types. And varakal kolecha bracha haruli. You're supposed to make all three brachas. Hagav in birakal kula mini favorable, mini yotze. If you took any one of them and says mini favorable, you're yotze. Um. <clears throat> Meaning, but the Mishabura says you, you specifically took the one that's Mine Basam. If you took the one that's Itzve Basam, you made the wrong bracha, right? So you're only Yotze for that one. If you took the Mine Basam and you made a bracha on that, and you're Machaving to be mostly the other two, just like Vilkos Brachos, make Shahakal on the on the piece of meat, and you're Machaving to be mostly the fruit and the vegetable, then you would be Yotze only in that case. In the circle, Hakim Shal Eitz Shal Itzve Basam, Ayin Lael, Simon Reishit Aleph, right? Generally, Eitz is more prominent than Eitz, which is like Priyadama. It's a more particular bracha because every eighth comes from, right, the grass, which grows into a woody stem. So which one comes first? You have two of them. Which one comes first? So the general halacha is the chaviv come first. Whichever one is more dear to you, more precious, you like better. And if they're the same, then generally we, we give uh, prefer- precedence to the atzei b'samim. Yeah, if you feel the fun of hadas v'shem and oh, they brought in front of him oil. And a hadas, hadas, you know, you know from... From Sukkis. Right, it depends where the Shemin came from. Oil which is extracted from Atse from from uh, from a plant that has a woody stem that lasts for the winter. So you make a bracha on the hadas, except the shaman. The correct bracha is to make on the hadas trila. Um because the hadas is considered more prominent. You'd be the Mavarakan al Mugmar. Parish was summoned to the Simon al Gholam, the Haria, but have once you have incense. People are familiar with incense. You make a bracha on that. Mishiala Kitor Ashano. The correct bracha to make on incense is, I believe, Bari Mine was summoned. You're supposed to make a bracha right when you light it, when the smoke starts to come up, before you actually smell it, because it's supposed to be over last yasa. It's just like you make a bracha on a fruit before you eat it. Here, do also. You shouldn't make a bracha before you start to burn it. It has to be once you burn it and, and the smoke starts to come up. If the mugmar, the incense, actually comes, I was talking about a case where it came something that was, you know, either chemicals or it came from something which wasn't uh, from the ground. But if it came from a woody stem, 
You say Atzev Besamim Hushal Eisa Bori Itzve Besamim Hushal Sharmin and Bori Mina Besamim. Again, because wherever it comes from, even though it's not the actual thing, it's just you burnt it and now it smells like that, which I believe is the same thing as Tom Gicker, right? If you you have chemicals or even you put it in, you made a, a concoction and then you took it out, I believe the correct bracha is <clears throat> that bracha. There's two opinions about that. The first opinion is you take an esrog on sukkahs and you with intent to smell it. If you tend to eat it, right, and you don't make a bracha, but and then to smell it, you make a bracha. Some say it's based on the Gemara and Sukkah. The Gemara says that really an esrog is made not for reyach, not to smell. A hadas is normally made to smell, but an esrog is made to eat. So therefore, um, during the time of mitzvah, right, during the seven days of Sukkot, so even if you're having to smell it, you, st- you shouldn't make a bracha. Right, you're not supposed to make a bracha after sukkah is over. Everyone agrees if you take it to smell it, you would make a bracha. And the bracha is I know it's react to but payroll is apparently because you can eat astro astro jelly. Some say a new bracha. If you smell very hot bread, you go to a restaurant or serve some pakasio, nice bread, hot bread, you make a bracha and react to pass because you don't find a bracha. Some say not to make a bracha. We don't make brachas. Therefore, you shouldn't be made riachbo. And if you do are made riachbo, you do not make a bracha. That's the conclusion. There's an interesting halacha about coffee, freshly ground coffee. We're not talking about after you made the coffee, but when you're grinding up the coffee into, you know, the actual coffee beans and you smell it. So coffee beans come from a tree. And the correct bracha to make, if you really enjoy it, is bore atze besamim. That's the conclusion of today's share. Stay tuned for a very important email that I'm seeing where I discuss why it has to be that you have you pick it up specifically with intent to smell it as opposed to you know a food or for example even if you didn't intend to eat it you picked it up you just ate it you have to make if you want to you want to eat it you have to make a bracha as opposed to uh smelling something you really have to have intent to smell it if you just haphazardly smell something you don't make a bracha even if you're enjoying it we'll explain that ian with ian to lean on you know that's you know coming up next